Hi there and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here uh, I will explain to you how we can make a BMW Z4 in Fusion 360. Uh, we are here in the episode uh, 13. Let's go ahead and start the, the side of uh, the car. Step by step and using the spline then for me I prefer to start with the bellow of the car okay because of this uh, I will start like that and I will join the other surface in the in the end of this tutorial please if you have any question don't hesitate to post it in the comment or emailing me and you can also find me in uh, instagram or in my website uh, you will find it in the description okay First of all, you can make that select all of this and you can move it with the M key. Make sure that all thing is all right because any error you can, you can make several error after okay let's make sure that all thing is all right once you finish uh, the basic of uh, the spline then use controllers and the and the points of this spline to control your spline and make it like uh, like the edges of the car or of the reference as I said, you can find uh, uh, the reference of this car in the description, okay? You can download it. And the payable uh, episode, you can download it from my website camera9.com I will find uh, all of this in the description please uh, feel free to to ask me uh, what you want and if you have any question don't hesitate As I said in the last episode, uh, for the um, for the V12 engine, I will start make uh, some episode uh, just when I finish uh, these. Okay, I want just to finish the BMW uh, project and continue the V12 engine, and I will share uh, this uh, two episode in uh, in month. Okay. Uh, then I will respect that uh, find um, the episode I will share it in Wednesday okay then 
then uh, find uh, find all my contacts in the description and you can uh, join me in the Instagram or Facebook. It's that interesting to control your spline and the profile because that when you finish the profile you can just uh, use the um, uh, the sweep feature or or the loft then that use this one like um, okay as you can see here it's too easy to make this let's go ahead and make another surface here near uh, to the wheel start with the um, uh, with the right plan or the left plan it's not a problem then I uh, I want to work on the 3d view because that I pick the I pick the um, the point that I, I I want, okay? Because that when you work on the TD plan, the 2D plan, uh, the error that e, you can pick the the point that you want, okay? I prefer that to work on the 3D and adjust all the spline in the 2D. That's the best uh, way to do that. For this, I, uh, I, 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 I want uh, of it to to explain to you that because that uh, I'm using that cube, okay, the view cube, because it's so interesting uh, to work with that okay and if you have any uh, suggestion to to me don't hesitate to, to to propose it to me okay Okay, adjust all the spline like this one and when you finish this go ahead and add another spline in the other side as you can see here I'm using the 3D view as I say to you then adjust it in the 2 view okay or 2D view I'm using the M key uh, to use M like move, okay. Uh, move all uh, the controllers and point with the M key, okay. Using three axes, and as you can see here, you can. I'm using the 3D uh, view cube, okay, to to see it from the 3D view. 3D views okay 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 i think we have a nice uh, result here and the last one is to add a surface a surface here Thanks for all subscriber. Then find all the episode in my website. 
you will find this in the description returning to the tutorial you can use that the loft feature to make this surface and you can return it but it's not a problem right now find you in the next episode in two weeks okay uh, yes in two weeks thanks for all